Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. Friends, in this video, we will discuss a feedback circuit. Feedback circuit in any switch mode power supply. Last in last video, I discussed about uh, switching mode power supplies. So in this video, we will discuss feedback circuit. That is the most important circuit for regulation. अगर आप ये वीडियो उर्दू में देखना चाहते हैं तो जो ऊपर आई बटन नजर आ रहा है ये कॉर्नर में जो राइट साइड पे कॉर्नर में आई बटन आ रहा है इस इस पे लिंक पे क्लिक करें तो आपको उर्दू में यही वीडियो आपको उर्दू में मिल जाएगी और उर्दू देखने के लिए ये वीडियो उर्दू में देखने के लिए आप मेरे चैनल हसीब इलेक्ट्रॉनिक उर्दू को देखा करें वहां पे सेम वीडियोस उर्दू ट्रांसलेशन में आपको मिलती हैं वी विल डिस्कस फीडबैक सर्किट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द फीडबैक फीडबैक बिफोर डिस्कसिंग और गोइंग इन डिटेल आई विल डिस्कस We have a potentiometer. I have a power supply. See it uh, carefully, because I share my experience. I don't want to uh, hide anything. So, if our concept is clear, then there is no problem. I have three volt power supply. I have suppose suppose it is a voltage regulator. it is a voltage divider it is a potentiometer i will connect one line here and i will take common output from the same print terminal and i connected here the output and i connected at the center point i am taking 495 495 volt 0.495 volt if someone say i need 0.5 volt that means these voltage are less 0.005 less so i am asked it must be 5 volt what i will do i will see these voltage level on this screen my brain my mind my brain will calculate and one signal will come to my hand and i will rotate slightly to increase now i increased if the voltage are increased i see from my eyes my brain calculated and again issued a signal to my hand to decrease it until it is 0.5 volt it's 0.5 volt now i watched from my eyes it is a complete chain i detected from how i detected i when i was seeing it it was down level how i determined my brain calculated it required value is 0.5 and here are 0.495 so my brain give a feedback signal to increase the voltage that is called positive positive feedback to increase the voltage that is positive voltage when it was 0.502 suppose it is 0.5818 so then my mind will generate my brain will generate a negative signal that will called negative feedback so this is feedback when these voltage were down my brain asked to give positive feedback to increase when the voltage level was high there was a negative feedback to decrease it if this concept is cleared then we will correlate our this system my eyes my brain and my hand to rotate this potentiometer then it's very easy if we design a circuit here is output this one is output a feedback circuit feedback system this loop my eyes my brain and this my my eyes and my brain make a signal to this pwn is my hand 
and this switching mechanism my hand this is a link if I will use a PWM pulse width modulator who will determine all this then the switching regulator will increase or decrease the voltage level it will work like this when it is the voltage will go high it will decrease when these are decreased it will increase it will keep working like this the switching regulator switching regulator will move like this to get the voltage at standard fixed voltage here I have a complete circuit pulse fit modulator feedback circuit and inverter circuit chopper circuit feedback circuit will sense the level of the voltage and it will give to the pulse width modulator to increase or decrease the switching level to get the required voltage level there are many types of regulations output current this system can sense output current if the output current is increased resultant the voltage will decrease when the voltage will decrease that means over, over current will cause under voltage and under voltage this system will give a feedback to increase conduction level to take extra output to maintain compensate the over current and to maintain the voltage level if the voltage level are higher than the required level then this feedback circuit will give a negative feedback to pulse width modulator to decrease the switching level so this is a closed loop and it is continuously monitored and if input voltage are increased it will decrease the switching level to maintain the voltage if the temperature is increased this system will increase or decrease the switching level to compensate the temperature effect on the components we use optocoupler and a voltage reference here is a potentiometer potentiometer is an analog switch we know the BJT bijunction transistor that is used to make a conduction it is also used as a linear switch it is also used as a amplifier when we use it in class A class B amplifier that time it makes a linear switching like a potentiometer when we make a correct biasing for this transistor it will behave like a like a potentiometer when we make a special biasing for this transistor it will behave like a potentiometer like this if he will it will need increase decrease increase decrease this is a BJT bijunction transistor but in optocoupler there is a special transistor that is called phototransistor phototransistor have emitter collector and then there is no base at the base there is a window optical window and this optical window will sense light when we use automatic lights and light sensors to turn on turn off our street lights and different different types of photo job projects then we use light sensor here we have LED light emitting diode in this package we have one component here that is four pin component this one it have one side LED output two terminals emitter and collector and the light which drives the base that is encased in this package so that the exter external light will not affect on this base this is encaged two components one light and one phototransistor how it works we will see some examples if you see this design we have some voltage level this ground this is driven by a LM311 operation amplifier and this voltage level comes here to the diode of the LED of the optocoupler and if we see any power supply 
any power supply it is two sections hot section cold section hot section and cold section that are just only two couplings one is electromagnetic coupling here is electromagnet magnetic flux that is called to induce voltage in secondary and here we have a light coupler light coupler opto isolator it's opto coupler it have also name opto isolator so this opto isolator what will do it will give a feedback from the output how much there are voltage if there is short circuit or if there are regular voltage this voltage will be sensed by this system here is a stand alone intelligent zener regulator a reference diode tl431 this component three terminal component it will sense the voltage in this area if there is a short circuit it will detect the short circuit and then it will give a feedback pulse width modulator circuit now we will check step by step this feedback circuit will go to the pulse width modulator pin number 2 pin number 3 pin number 1 any ic have a different every ic have a different pin out different drive circuits but the function is the same so here the ground in this case the ground level will started from here and it will switched to this ic the how much voltage are taped it depends depends upon the conduction level of this photo transistor and photo transistor is controlled by the light of led from this network if we see here here is 12 volt and one is negative line connected here and 13.5 zener this is just only a regulator for over voltage if the over voltage are here it will increase the switching and then this voltage will start from here and it will disable this fet this voltage from here if we see here and it will stop switching so next if we see here here is a voltage regulator voltage output and then there is a network some resistors are installed to bias up this uh, optocoupler and this optocoupler will give light to this transistor photo transistor and it will take a rectified voltage and it will make switching to this ic and this mosfet ic will drive this trans this uh, transformer and we will take output in the output area if the output will decrease it will increase the switching to out increase the voltage if the output voltage are increased it will decrease the switching level to decrease the voltage at the specific level same is here here is also a sense line the voltage are sensed here and then it is controlled to feedback circuit this feedback sometime this feedback is used only to check over voltage sometime it is used to regulate, regulate the voltage sometime it is used to if we see this 594 these voltage are applied to pin number 16 and pin number 1 to control the under over voltage to maintain the voltage within one window upper limit and lower limit are defined from these potentiometers these optocouplers if we see here here we have 2.5 volt reference diode tl431 and this voltage are applied to this led optocoupler and optocoupler is causing switching to opto transistor this photo transistor drive to pin number 3 of this ic and this ic mosfet ic will drive this circuit if the output voltage will increase it will decrease the switching this will give negative feedback if voltage are dropped it will increase the switching and this voltage feedback area is also co combined with this coupler so now we will see practically what happens here is no ic here is no ic just only here are some components and one fet and this stand alone chopper inverter and here is also a feedback circuit 
so we will connect this feedback circuit and we will check the response of this circuit here are 5.1 volts and this time I am getting voltage 1.06 volt in the input of this optocoupler and I connect 5 ohm resistor to the output then we can see the voltage are dropped here is 1.067 if I connected the load it will be 1.5058 I connected this load so it is at input and what is the change at the output of this voltage this optocoupler I will see now this time the output of optocoupler is 0.39 volt its conduction and when I connect the load check the output of this optocoupler I connected 5 ohm uh, resistor to 5, 5 volt that means it is taking 1 ampere 1 ampere current we can check the output voltage of this optocoupler are changing to change the conduction level of this MOSFET we will see another circuit I will check this circuit it have a IC we will check pin number 3 this IC pin number 3 is connected its feedback circuit we will check feedback circuit and we will check it with ground input ground that is if you see here I am taking varying voltage in this circuit the output voltage are not stable so if we see the pin number 3 of this optocoupler of this uh, IC that's also not stable if we check the output of this optocoupler it's not working if we see voltage at the input of this optocoupler we are we are getting a varying voltage at the input of optocoupler so that means the optocoupler or the feedback circuit is not good it have some problem because the output voltage are varying when we have varying voltage in the output then the problem in this reference reference optocoupler this IC is working it's good so we have problem in this optocoupler or in this area we have to find where is the problem I uploaded a detailed troubleshooting procedure for feedback circuit we can see here is no output it is not making any conduction maybe this one is damaged so we can check the pin number 3 we can see pin number 3 it should take 1 volt if we cannot get, take 1 volt that means there is problem in this area what is the problem in this area because the drive voltage of this optocoupler are not present it should be 1 volt 1 1.08 1.09 volt to drive this circuit so we have something short in the output area now I will connect another power supply and we will check the response ground and first output I have 3.6 volt here I have 30 volt at the input of this optocoupler I have 1.04 volt and now I will make some short circuit for this and all here I have five or six sections first of all you have to determine where is the actual circuit connected this circuit is connected to this load line 5 volt so I will make a short circuit for 5 volt for this area yes this is 5 volt so I will 
connect to this optocoupler and I will connect a load we can see it is 1.04 volt when I will connect a load resistor to this the voltage will de de decrease when this will decrease I am taking the output 0.57 volt in the normal condition when the load is connected it will increase the voltage so it will give a feedback normally I am taking 0.57 volt in standard condition without no load when the load is connected I will take 0.57 volt sorry if I will connect the load I will take more voltage and if there is a short circuit it will disable the output the power supply will try to turn on again and again that there is a short circuit so this feedback circuit is used to monitor the proper functioning of the power supplies to regulate the voltage if this video is good for you please like subscribe and share if this video is useful you can share this video with your friends if any youtuber wants to upload my video to his channel I permit because this video I sh I am sharing creative common video so anyone can upload this video to his channel so that the knowledge must be spreaded to everyone thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye bye